Hello, welcome to week four of the Medical Intuitive Metaphysical Monday series. Week four, fourth chakra, heart. Heart, anahata is the Sanskrit word. The heart, it's all about love, right? It's around the essence of who you really are. Who you really are. Soul, mind, body, spirit, unite here. It's a portal of energy to the infinite. Science can even show that it um, has a resonance 5,000 times stronger than our brain. Yet how often is the brain running the show, the personality self versus our true self, our heart self, our authentic self? The heart is about balanced love. When I scan it, I go like this because I see a triangle and at the top is global love. Do I have love for others regardless race, religion, is it the same as me or not? The left side is about partnership love. Family can show up here. The right side of that triangle is self-love. So how energy flows through somebody's heart center tells me how they are in relation to all areas of love. So this is an area where old hurts can show up. Unforgiveness shows up here. Fear closes our heart center down, puts a wall, so to speak. Okay, I can see a literally like energetic hole in the heart. You know, it's really fascinating. I've seen um, some studies that are showing how medical science is starting to relate old unhealed heart pain with physical heart attacks and heart issues. And we know there's, there's a connection now. It's showing up in other ways. And so what else is in the center are our lungs. In Chinese medicine, our lungs are about grief. Lungs take in air, right? Your breath, your breath is taking in life force energy. For if that's not there, you're no longer in this form. So how do we take in life force energy to be oxygenated, enhanced by your heart to bring to the rest of the body, okay? Think of then blood as joy, as love flowing. How does love flow through your life? How does joy flow through your life? Uh, the windpipe's also here, the esophagus, upper back. Do we have pains there? That's often an area where I'll see um, old hurts held, you know, the backside of the heart. The shoulders, the proverbial burdens show up here, and, you know, too many obligations. For when we're doing things that don't come from the heart center, you know, because somebody else expects us to, um, not in alignment with who we really are, then we lose some of that life force energy if we're not clear about our boundaries and we're allowing others to mistreat us. That can all chip away at that heart center or the whole life force energy, okay? Arms are also um, an extension of the heart center. It's about giving, giving, and receiving. Is that in balance? The heart center is also about balance, giving, and receiving love. So what helps the heart center? Breathe, I just mentioned that. And like I said in my other one series, always going to mention meditation, slowing down, connecting with your heart, yoga, tai chi, being in nature, connecting to the sun, the moon. You know, what brings you joy? There's a heart song in you. Um, I like stones. I use crystals and stones a lot, as you'll see behind me. Rose quartz, beautiful for the heart center. This rhodochrosite I wear here is heart center. I have Rudrashka. Uh, this one's a heart balancer. So I'm, I'm very conscious of wanting to balance my heart center for the highest good. In the back of me, you'll see the Divine Galactic Blueprint. When we heal the lower three chakras, remember I mentioned that as we work through all the old issues and they become peace, love, and joy. This becomes our our new root center instead of the traditional root. Those are there to keep the body going. But this is where our new root center is. And we open up 12-pointed chakra system, which is a protective helmet. It's the connected connection to your divine self, to the infinite. That can operate so much more in this lifetime than in the past. The energies are here now. So go do what you love. Love yourself. 
nourish and nurture yourself. Be the joy that you are and all benefit. It's proven. Namaste. Have a beautiful week.